Hey there, Bearcats, and welcome back to Bearcat TV, the five-minute news show specifically designed to keep ISM's middle school students firmly in the know. My name is Miss Harrington, and I am your host. Today is Monday, September the 28th, and the official start of our sixth week of distance learning. On this week's Bearcat TV hit list, we have a logo competition for two of the middle school councils, quarantine tips and tricks to help you keep fit socially, emotionally, and physically. Let's dive right in. Our first news item is a logo competition for Service Council and Diversity Council. A logo is a name, symbol or design that is adopted by an organisation to identify and represent its ideas, products and publications. Logos are typically designed for instant recognition. Let's play a quick game. We will flash up a variety of different logos one at a time. Let's see if you can identify the organisation. If you know the answer, then type it in the Zoom chat. Are you ready? Let's go, Bearcats. Talk in advisory afterwards and see if you got them right and if others did too. Logos can be expertly designed and sometimes people miss the clever hidden messages. Let's look at some ingenious logos. Spartan is a company that makes golf clubs. As you look at this logo, what do you see? Do you see a golfer swinging a golf club or the face of a Spartan warrior in a helmet? Can you see them both? FedEx is a delivery company and is known for having one of the best logos. In case you missed it, look between the E and the X. In the white space, there is an arrow. This subtly represents speed and precision, exactly what you need from a delivery company. For those interested in entering our council logo competition, let's take a look at what makes a great logo. Successful logos are simple in design. They use basic shapes and limited colors. Scalable, they easily scaled up or down in size. Instantly recognizable, what is the brand and what does it do? Memorable or impactful, how can you use the design to make an impact on all those who'll see it? Connected. Remember, great logos capture the work of the organization it represents. The winners will be selected by Service Council members and Diversity Council members. We hope to announce the winners before the October break. Remember to watch last week's episode of Bearcat TV to remind yourself of the purpose statements from Service Council and Diversity Council so your logo design is right on target. All Bearcat TV recordings can be found in Google Classroom under Advisory. For more details on the competition rules, check out the Advisory Slideshow. Our next news item is all about quarantine tips and tricks to help keep you fit socially, emotionally and physically. In order to bring you the most up-to-date information, let's turn to our resident counselling experts, Miss Bliss and Miss Stone. Ms. Bliss, what impact is quarantine having on the millions of students who are currently unable to go to school due to the coronavirus pandemic?
Thank you, Miss Bliss. That's really good to know. Miss Stone, what can kids do to stay connected with their friends and be social whilst in quarantine? Thank you, Miss Stone. I'm sure our viewers will really appreciate that. Miss Bliss, what are some tips you can share with our viewers that will help them keep their emotions in check while engaged in distance learning? to you, Miss Stone. What are some tips kids can do to, to help their physical health? Ladies, thank you so much for sharing your insights. Well, that's a wrap for this week. Tune in next Monday for more Bearcat TV updates. And remember, be here, be you, belong, Bearcats. Take care, middle school, and have a wonderful week. <laughs>